Happy New Year, Arju Barju crew. Hope you had a uh, great Christmas and you got all the prezzies you wanted. Okay, uh, seeing as it's a new year, I thought I'd do the first delivery for the year and bring you along for the ride. I've got the uh, the T4 Next Gen S T cab out, the big V8, 730 horsepower. And uh, we're here to pick up some sort of military load. Let's have a look at the truck. Love the look of this truck. Alright, so uh, let's do the pickup and get on our way. Let's take a look at what we're getting. Okay, I don't know if you can see it up there. I think it's probably behind one of the screens, but it's a Lav 25, 14 ton from PEX through to Sveg. And uh, yeah, it's going to take us about two, just under three hours. So we'll take that job. An elite team has been assembled to guide your mission. Let's and there it started. is over there. Let's hop out and have a look where it is over there. So we'll go and grab it. Yeah, I haven't brought the uh, the T4, the next next gen out for a while. So I thought I'd give it a, a run and blow the cobwebs off of it. I've got uh, precision coupling set. There are those who would like to see on this so. That's not going to happen. Let's we go. have to be very precise when we couple up. Okay, so it's a small armoured vehicle, basically. Alright, let's get on our way. So yeah, what did you do for Chrissy, people? Let me know in the comments. I had a nice quiet one at home. So it didn't really do much. But I enjoyed it. But it was quite good. Turn right. And what are your New Street. Year's resolutions? I haven't made any yet or even thought about it. To be totally honest. What are you waiting for, mate? Okay, with the T4 that I'm driving, it's a free mod. I think it's on Steam. If not, anyway, I'll, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. So if you're interested in grabbing it for yourself, you can. Uh, it's a great track. The only thing I don't like about it, or well, I think there's two things. I'm just trying to remember what they are. The first one is that the dash lights are very dull, or the interior is very dull, and um, that's one, and there was another one, and I can't remember what it is now, but there you go, can't be too big a problem, but everything else sort of check, checks out, it's a, uh, whoops, it's a, um, Nice truck, pulls well, drives well, sits on the road good. And I like the looks of it too. Very stylish. Whoops. Okay, people keep asking me about the gear I use. B29 Logitech is the steering wheel I use. I've got the pedals as well and I've got the G29 or the Logitech shifter with a, um, a true 18 speed shifter knob with the high low range and the um, splitter and turn right. also the whoops 
too busy talking to you guys. Nearly missed the turn off. I quite often do that. Um, yeah, with the true 18-speed uh, shifter knob on top. I've got my button box that I made myself, which I will be producing for people that, if they're interested. I'm in the testing stage of that. But sometime this month, I will be completed with that. Um, I've also got a bigger version that I'll be making. And I'll be coming out with uh, the prices and so forth on them as soon as I've finished doing the testing. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, I've got the laptops, uh, sorry, the tablets that I use with SimDash to give me more controls. And I'm just surrounded by controls. <laughs> uh, this is basically a Dash emulator that's on the uh, smaller one. do I use? Well I've got the microphone that I use, I've got the make of that, it's uh, Mayomo, uh, which comes with the sound deck, um, just some headphones, I forgot what make they are, good quality headphones, it's my second set, the only reason it's my second set is because I actually went to uh, buy the cushions or pads or whatever you want to call, call them for the uh, headphones and it would have cost me more to buy the headphone cushions than it would to buy a brand new headphone set. So I bought a brand new headphone set and now I've got two sets of headphones that work perfectly. There's nothing wrong with the other ones except that the pads had worn down to the point where they weren't very comfortable. So like I say, I bought a, a brand new headphone set because it worked out around about 10 bucks cheaper than buying just the pads themselves. Ridiculous when you think about it, but that was the case. Oh, that's right, I'm also using a uh, head tracker, uh, the Open Track program. It's a free program, I've got a video on that in my how to videos. So if you're interested in that, you can have a look at that. Um, I'm just using a uh, Bonelk uh, 1080p uh, camera for that and that's it all you need for it is you just need the software whoops I'm speeding now so yeah you just need the uh, the software the open track software and the camera and you're set and ready to go there's no other installation or hardware or anything like that. Okay, why'd they slow down? Uh, I've also got a little keyboard on the side here. Whoops, I pressed it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, little keyboard down here on the side that I use for um, when I'm stepping outside the vehicle. And I've also got another keyboard over on the right that you can't see. That's set up for, whoops, there you go, I nearly missed the corner again. That's set up for the OBS that I use for recording my videos. And I've got the standard keyboard as well over on the right also use various USB ports or hubs the supply power to everything got cables everywhere uh, yeah I've got the twin or dual monitor system that I use it makes it so much easier to see what you're doing and maneuvering I've got a video on that if you want to set up a dual monitor system again in the how-to videos which I'll leave a link to in the description or it'll be in a little box at the end of the video that you can click on anyway yeah back to the truck like I say it's the uh, next gen T cab S um, and again like I say I'm pretty sure it's a um, it's either on Steam if not I'll, I'll leave a link to where you get it from 
I'm using the uh, open pipe V8 from Slave Jerry. That's the motor. And I'm using a uh, roof pivot that you can see now. Mod. Here's the traffic slow today. Trying to get you a good view of the truck, it's hard to sort of steer it like this. Oh, especially when you've got a bit of traffic in front of you. Sorry, got to go back in. Just to be on the safe side. Now, I like the, um, the sound of the engine of the Slave Jerry um, open pipe V8. It's just loud enough. It's got a nice deep burble. And um, even the Jake brake's got that nice burbly sound too, without it being too loud. But it's deafening you. And there's Tiger on the dash. Having a little relax, enjoying the sunshine. Oh, sorry, itchy nose. Um, yeah, like I say, I'm trying to remember what the second one, because I was going to tell you what the two problems with this were, and yet I can't remember the second one for the life of me. I'm trying to remember what it was. Like I say, the dash lights are too dull. Um, let's step outside. What would it be? remember it. Oh, well, like I say, it couldn't have been too bad. Apart from that, loving it. Continued straight. Customer wants his delivery, and we're still an hour and a half away. Because of this traffic, what's going on? Just lights. Okay. Happens some days, eh? You get caught behind the uh, the slow ones. But yeah, what did you get for Chrissy, guys? Come on, tell me. Let me know in the comments. That way I can live vicariously for you. I got some jelly tots. <laughs> Don't laugh. I love jelly tots. Haven't had them for years. If you're wondering what jelly tots are, they're a little sort of um, jelly sweet candy whatever you want to call it uh, covered in sugar so they're really good for you turn right but they used to be my favorites when I was a kid and um, my daughter decided to buy me some for Christmas There's nothing here, what are we waiting for? In 400 meters, turn left. Another set of lights. Turn left. Oh good, we got a green one.
So yeah, they um, saw just recently that um, SCS guys was talking about the Take new the second exit for freedom. new engine that they're going to bring out uh, for the game, which will make use of multi-core and multi-thread, whatever you want to call it, PCs. Um, and they're saying that the 1.5 update will include that. Um, you, we probably won't notice much difference because they're basically just getting it to the point where it's, as they say, pixel for pixel, meaning that the game runs on the new engine just like it does on the old engine, but with better performance, of course. And then they'll be adding more features and, and modifications or whatever you want to call it to the game using that engine and the graphics will be improved beyond a shadow of a doubt. Can't, uh, I can't wait actually for that. Let's try and overtake, eh? Suspension on the cab working there. That's bouncing around. Did you pull out in front of me. Oh, you did. Oh, and the other one did. What an idiot. And I get done for it. <laughs> That's a little unfair, eh? damage did we do? Ooh. Let's find out. 12% damage. Not good. How was that? They both jumped out in front of me. What idiots. Just up here. Yeah, listen to that Jake break. Turn Turn right. Right. Big beefy V8. Love it. Can't beat the sound of a V8. Yeah, it links to all the uh, stuff in the description below. If you're interested, I have the link to the V8 uh, stroke pipe. Uh, I have a link to the truck. Link to the pivot or pi roof pivot camera. And if there's anything else you need to know about, just let me know in the comments. And only too happy to let you know. Like I say, this is just a quick uh, delivery to make it the first one for the year. Thank you guys along for the ride and hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Turn right. Plusbit. Weird name. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. Where are we parking? Ooh, 
that's a difficult one. Let's see how we go. Gonna have to try and get turn around in this area somehow. Let's see how we go. Don't think we're gonna make it in here. Oh, I might. Oh, come on. I'm gonna hit the fence. Ooh, yes, I tapped it. And I stalled it. Alright, don't jackknife. Jeez, I was so close too. I thought I was gonna make that. Alright. Let's uh, take a look how we're going to do this. Checking the mirrors. Yeah, it swung too wide. Making a complete mess of it. Hard to uh, talk and look back because I'm using the head tracker. It's hard to keep my mouth near the microphone and <laughs> look back. That's better. Now we're right. Bing. There we go. Excellent. All right, so how'd we do? Oh, we made it in time. Excellent. Excellent, as they say. All right, so we did 127 miles, taken four hours and 21 minutes, 36 gallons of fuel, and we made 11,000 plus euros. We'll take that. Thank you very much. All right, so yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you think your friends would be interested, share it with them because it helps me uh, with the algorithm on YouTube. I'm trying to hit the 500 um, subscriber mark. I'm not far off. I'm about nine off at the moment. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you did, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.